hello again so let's continue the rest of the topic of difference between neural and non neural vaccine okay so we were studying about the example of non neural vaccine right we studied a uh, duck egg vaccine now we will study the tissue culture vaccine okay tissue culture vaccine let's see a example of tissue tissue culture uh, vaccine is human diploid cell vaccine now let's understand the this term diploid means a cell which has diploid cell means a diploid uh, diploid means two right diploid diploid means two so dip, human diploid cells means a cell which have two pair of chromosome uh, one pair of chromosome it means two chromosome okay let's see this two pair uh, two or pair of chromosome okay so this is called diploid okay so human diploid uh, cell i will give you example the name is wi38 okay wi38 it is a cell of female uh, fetus okay female fetus which is aborted in the month of uh, third pregnancy okay so uh, uh, suppose a woman is pregnant and in 3 months after 3 months she will get abort um, you she will get abortion uh, you know regarding any any cause okay the cause can be anything but she is getting abortion after 3 months of pregnancy and the child is female okay so female fetus so uh, this w uh, wi38 this vaccine is made from female fetus brain okay so <clears throat> this is a example this is an example so human diploid cell vaccine is that okay made uh, human uh, you know fixed virus is uh, made and after that it grow on human cell diploid okay so let's uh, understand duck egg vaccine is the example of egg based vaccine okay we have studied here here embryonated cell egg based vaccine so duck egg vaccine is the example of embryonated egg uh, egg vaccine okay and human diploid cell vaccine is the example of tissue culture vaccine okay so wi 38 is an example let's study the next point side effect of neural vaccine okay major neurological complications so neural vaccine is made up of nerve tissue so it actually affect the human neural you know central nervous system and peripheral nervous system basically the nervous system it majorly affect the nervous system so this called uh, this is this caused uh, this leads to major neurologic complication example encephalitis encephalitis is inflammation of the brain infection in the brain okay or encephalitis or other than that paralysis also okay so it happened why a major complication happens because of it happens because vaccine has nerve tissue already right of other animal so which cause antigen antibody response okay this is the immune response of our body when some foreign particle uh, enters in our body right i will take a different class on antigen antibody so it increase the level of antibody in our brain and that cause you know uh, major complications of neural system nervous system sorry okay so uh, and uh, the side effect of non neural vaccine it is safe for humans and animals and it is also recommended by world health organization okay so uh, but exception is egg based vaccine okay egg based vaccine can cause mild allergic reactions okay so immunogenicity next point is immunogenicity means our immune response antigen antibody response so poorly immunogenic means it cause immunogenic response okay so yeah and not highly immunogenic immunogenic means immune response means you know any harmful complication okay any harmful complication so matlab any harmful complication prevention of any harmful complication okay means immune response immune response so here the immune response is very you know uh, it cause uh, very harm to the body and here it it does not uh, you know harm the body very uh, severely but it can cause allergic reaction now the access okay so the no, the neural vaccine is currently unavailable and uh, because it is very harmful and the uh, what uh, non neural vaccine is available okay next point is administration site means where we are going to inject the vaccine 
so uh, non neural va neural vaccine was injected in stomach okay early and it is very painful so it's just stopped currently and uh, here the non uh, non neural uh, vaccine is for adult the administration site is deltoid muscle of the arm i hope you know the deltoid muscle here i will show a very <laughs> very bad diagram okay so this is the human being this is her arm and this shoulder portion upper shoulder portion is deltoid muscle okay so you know we will give them in deltoid muscle for adult and for the children we will give um, for the children under one year we will give anterolateral uh, lateral area of thigh okay anterolateral area of the thigh means here is a child and uh, just imagine okay uh, this is the head and body and hand and this is the thigh so this is this side this portion is the anterolateral area of anterolateral uh, area of the thigh okay so this portion in this area we will inject the vaccine okay for adult deltoid muscle for uh, children lateral side of the thigh okay so yeah that's the that's end our topic if you have any doubt then comment below thank you